Good morning, Lavish fam. Welcome back. Um, so if you watched my last vlog, then you know that we started on Dante's man cave. Um, I built a cabinet to put in his man cave. Um, and I told you the next step will be painting, which today is what I plan to start doing. Um, yeah, so I have an appointment at two, a doctor's appointment. So I figured the, the least I could do is just go ahead and start taping off the room. And then that way when I come back, I can change clothes and then start painting because I'm painting it black. <laughs> the entire room is going to be black. So, of course, I don't want to get that, get all like paint on me before I go to the doctor. So anyway, that's the plan is to start taping off the room. And I'm going to show you what the room is looking like now because um, everything is kind of sitting in the middle of the floor. So I'll just show you what it looks like now and then I will start taping off the room. Okay, so all of his shoes are kind of sitting here in the middle. This is the cabinet. Um, yeah, so you know I spray painted the inside of it already black and then the outside I primed. Um, I applied primer to so the TV and the TV stand is also back there but everything is off of the walls I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this down so I can get as much light as possible in here and then this is just like I said just the walls I will not be painting the ceiling he said he didn't want the ceiling painted but anyway um, so that's the plan is to go ahead and start doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taping off the room. <laughs> it's Tuesday. And um, I don't know if you can see this, but these walls ain't got not one drop of paint on them. <laughs> Yesterday, only thing I accomplished was taping off the room. I never came back. But today is different. Today is different. Today I am dedicating my day to painting this room. So it's 9.15 a.m. I've had breakfast and I'm ready. So I'm just going to get it done. So let me get started. Let me put my drop cloths down. Let me get my life together and just knock it out. It's different painting one wall. <laughs> But I'm about to paint the entire room. Um, yeah. Let me just stop procrastinating because I work tomorrow. So, yeah. All right. Let me get started. So far, I've painted pretty much most of the back wall, the corners over there by the window, as well as I started over here and on some of the door. And yeah, <laughs> but I'm just kind of all over the place. Um, I probably could be a little bit further, but then I take breaks and kind of talk to Dante because he just got him from work. But yeah, so I think what I'm, my plan is to paint all of the bottom area before I start having to get up on the ladder to like paint the top. So hopefully by 12, I'm at a good point. So I'm going to just keep like rocking it out and see how far I can get. And I'll be back. Alright, so it is literally like 12.10 and... I've completed all of the bottom of all of the walls. The only thing that's left is like the top portions. So, and then of course, I need to finish the doors and I need to finish the cabinet. 
So what I think I'm going to do is take a lunch break. Yeah, I'm going to take a lunch break. And then I'll come back and finish um, these areas before it's time for me to pick up Kai from daycare. So, yeah. I'll be back. All right, y'all. So it's like 3.45 and everything has been painted. Um, yeah, so everything is painted. I'm going to definitely have to do some touch-ups, uh, of course, because this is a black paint and the color of the wall was agreeable gray, which is a very, very light gray. So I'm going to let it dry a bit. Go pick up Kai from daycare and then we'll see where it's at. The room is painted, it's dry, it looks great. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out. Dante just saw it for the first time. He just woke up, um, he has to go to work, so he's eating dinner. But um, So this is the contact paper that I bought off of Amazon to go on the top of the cabinet as well as um, as well as the shelf I've never done this before so yeah I've never done this before um, so let me read the directions because <laughs> I only bought two rolls so I'm praying that I don't mess this up. How hard could it be, right? Um, yeah, so I'll be back. Let me read the directions. The mold too. Okay, so I cut it, the first piece, um, a little bit longer than I needed, just in case. And... When I tear off, it says to tear off just a little bit of the backing. Best friend's in here. He's naked. Nothing. He wants to say hi. He wants to say hi. Mm -hmm. With no clothes on. He has on his underwear, of course. I can't see. Say hi. Hi. What are they supposed to do down below? Subscribe down below. Subscribe down below. Mm -hmm. All right. I can't get down. Okay. Get down. I say bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm trying to get the backing off of this. Um, I'm really ready to just call it a night. What? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. So, when I paint, I am not the most like elegant painter. I tend to have paint all over me. So, I look like crap when I paint. So, that's why I look so rough. <laughs> Try to make sure I do a good job on this. <laughs> um, like I said, I've never done it before, but I want it to look good. 
because I, you know, felt like I did a really good job on building the shelf. So, okay, so, so far so good. So far so good. This is nice. All right, so I'm going to finish this and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like in just a bit. Okay, so I've added the contact paper to the top and to the shelf. And it looks so freaking good, but because this room is all black and it's dark outside right now, I can't really show you guys what it really looks like. So tomorrow, we'll just start again tomorrow. Um, and I'll show you all what it looks like. I also need to get curtains. Yeah, I need to get curtains. But I am pretty happy with the way that it's turning out. Still a long way to go, but the shelf looks amazing. And tomorrow we'll go ahead and start adding the things to the shelf. But I'll let you all see what it looks like when the sun is out. Um, because it's too dark in here now. It's not a shit. Well, the cabinet. So I'll show you. I'll show you guys tomorrow. All right, see you tomorrow. Hey guys. Okay, so today is Wednesday, and it's <laughs> it's after three. But um, I had a client today, so um, I'm a little late getting started because I wanted to go and get curtains. Um, so I went to several stores. Did not really find what I was looking for. I wanted. Um, some eight feet curtains, but I only found seven, so I'm gonna have to make it work. Um, but anyway, yeah, so the room is painted. What I'm realizing is that the paint that I'm using, which is like a um, the paint we bought for like the doors, I just used it in here as well, but. I mean, Dante likes it, but for me, it's just not given, um, it just to me just has too many like smear marks. Um, so I'm not sure, even though we plan to put stuff on the walls, decorative stuff, I don't know. I'm going to have to like, let it sit with me for a bit, but I don't know, but he's happy with it. So I'm learning to um realize that this is not my space but most but for me i most likely may end up putting another coat of paint on it just to see if that helps with the smear marks let me show you what i'm talking about see if i can if it shows up on camera well you can see it you see it so like when the light hits it you can kind of see smear marks but i've already put i put two coats on but and the brush that i'm using i mean the Roller is for these type of walls. It's on for um, flat surfaces. So, I don't know. I don't know. But, we'll see. But, anyway. Anyway. Let's move on. So, the light in here, once again, is not the greatest. But, I'm going to try to show you what I'm talking about. So, oh please. Okay, so this is the bar cart. That's what the top looks like with the contact paper. That's it right there. It's up against that. And then I'm gonna put two shelves up here. I bought them right here. So he can put his um, memorabilia or whatever from the military or whatever he wants to put up there. But um, I had got a comment that this was a huge <laughs> cart, like a cabinet. Well, it's huge because we have a wine cooler that's going to go in that space. Okay, so this fridge was sent to me by New Air. New Air is an online website that sells 
wine fridges, they sell beverage fridges, they sell um, heating, cooling, like a heat, like um, portable heaters, portable air conditioners, uh, all things as such. And they were ever so kind to send us over this really huge wine um, cooler. But we're going to be using it for beverages. Probably not so much wine, but beverages. Because my loft space is right outside Dante's Man Cave. So it's just really nice to be able to put some beverages in here. Um, so that way, when he's watching the game or I'm watching a movie, uh, I can just come in here and get a drink. Or he can have something while he's in here you know, watching the game. So, let's open it. So as you see, we just took this out of the box. Well, not we. I guess me and you. But um, it has a dent here. Oh, that sucks. Um, so yeah. Um, gonna have to reach out to the company and let them know. But as of now, this is what it looks like. And I'm supposed to put it in this space. But I think I want to put the shelves up first. So that way I can kind of move this out the way to do that. So let me um, send a text, well, e email to the company, letting them know about this little ding. And, yeah, um, that sucks. Hmm. But, oh well. Alright, so let me, um, first of all, I'm hot. So let me go change shirts, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I bought two of these shelves here um, from Lowe's this morning. They were like... Eleven dollars and something, and uh, they're like forty-eight inches long, which is pretty much the same length of this um, cabinet. So my plan is to mount them up here. So I got. these as well and they come with the hardware that you need and they also come with um, drywall things if you don't have studs in the area that you want to put it in so that's my plan is attempt to put these up <laughs> and hopefully they're straight <laughs> so that's the plan for now And this styrofoam is everywhere, but I can't vacuum it up just yet because Dante is sleeping because he works tonight. And I don't want to wake him. I'm going to also try to hang the curtains. But I think this weekend while he's off, I want to have him paint <laughs> these two walls again and put another coat on them. I'm not. Monty's coming home this weekend and I would like to spend my time visiting with my baby because I haven't seen her in a minute so um, 
Yeah. So anyway, and I'll let you guys know um, what they say about this fridge. I'm going to still put it over here because you won't see that dent um, in here because it's to the back. It's not a big deal to me, but I want to just, you know, let them know that it, you know, it came that way. But I'm struggling. Okay, so I was able to get the first shelf up pretty easily. <laughs> but the second one, I'm going to have to most likely get a ladder. I probably should have did that one first. But, you know. Hindsight, you know, saying, um, I think that's the saying. See, hindsight, fifty fifty. Hindsight. Who knows? You know, I'm always messing up a saying. <laughs> but anyway, I have the first one up, and that's what it looks like. I have you guys on my ring light because it's dark in here. It is dark in this room. Even in this, this room sits at the front of our house. And even with all this sunlight coming in here, this room is dark with this black. So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to go and get the ladder and try to put up this second shelf before it's time for me to go get best friend. Because it's like after four. So, yeah. Maybe I'll even get the curtains up before five. Who knows? But, um, I am definitely sweating out my blowout. <laughs> so let's see what I can get done the shelves are up and they look so good That top shelf almost took me out, y'all. I done sweated out all my little edges. But I just hate that it's so dark in here. I'm telling you, because it looks so good. So good. Um, yeah, so let me dust off some of this um, styrofoam on the refrigerator, and then we'll put it in place. So we can see what it looks like. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. Hold on. So this on the um, website or not even the website, but the picture showed a clearance under here, under the bottom, that the door had like more of a um, thing under the bottom. So my frame, I'm out of breath, I just ran up the stairs, um, basically does not clear the door opening all the way so what I'm gonna do is just put these shimmies under there for until I like have a chance to build out a smaller platform to raise it up some but just to kind of allow for us to Bye. 
guys. Oh my goodness, let me bring y'all closer. Can you guys see? There we go. So, like I stated, we're gonna be putting water and juice and soda in here instead of wine because we have a wine rack downstairs and Dante is probably not gonna be drinking wine in the main cave. So, this is the directions. Ooh, I'm hot. So let me let me plug it up. Let me plug it up. Let me plug it up. So I'm hot. And I need to go pick up best friend. So I don't. So it has, looks like two temperature gauges. So it's like a dual zone or either a single zone mode. Um, all in the book, it even tells you, can you see that? The temperatures for certain types of wines That's pretty cool. How to clean it, how you know, how to take care of it. Um, all of that. How to defrost the wine cooler. The same things that you should expect in any refrigerator, but as I stated, I'm going to build out a little stand to put this um, on so that it clears the bottom. So what I did basically is just put some pieces of wood that I had left over in the garage under here just to raise it up so that it opens and closes for now. Um, and I will definitely be, like I said, building something to do that. But for now, I'm going to go pick up best friend. And then depending on uh, how things go when I get back with him, how he's um, um, interacting today. I will put these curtains up, but um, for now, let me just go pick them up. So I'll be back. Okay, so I just came back from picking Kai up from daycare, and when I plugged this up, it was on 70 degrees, and just since I've left and come back, it's 55 degrees, so I don't know what the actual temp is already set to, but I'm going to let it cool down a bit more and see... Um, what the temperature is and then from there I will decide if I need to change it again. I guess I could read the directions, but y'all already know. That ain't really what I do. <laughs> um, so I'm going to wait. But for now, I'm going to try to hang these curtains. Um... So I end up getting these blackout curtains from an uh, at-home store and it's two panels. There's only one window in here of course and these are 38 by 84s. Um, I'm pretty sure they'll be wide enough for this one window. But um, yeah, so this is what they look like. They're basically the same ones that are in Kai's room, but he has blue. You know, like 30 bucks. So, I'm gonna attempt to hang these. The curtains are not my thing. Let's see what this, these curtains look like. Oh no.
So I wanted 96. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to still hang them and then I'm just going to order some more from um, Amazon. So I'm just going to hang them for the time being and then when the ones from Amazon come, then I'll just replace them. Um, that sucks. But whatever. Whatever. Yeah, that sucks. Well, would that be a waste of my time? Nah, I'm not going to hang them. I'm going to most likely... <laughs> Put them in Kai's room <laughs> at his other house. And then I'll just order some. Because there's no point in hanging them and then have to take them back down. So I'll just put them in Kai's room. So um, let me go and figure out my next plan here. Because that kind of sucks. But I got other stuff to do. I got other stuff to do. So, hope please. Like I said, I've been so busy organizing and trying to um, get rid of as many of these boxes as I can um, that I, I, I be forgetting to record. Um, plus, <laughs> that's the refrigerator. So I'm like, I mean, the, yeah, the the wine fridge. That was, I don't know. Um, I guess because the temperature is still dropping, it's at 41 now. But um, anyway. Um, yeah, I just been so busy like organizing and trying to like empty out all of these boxes so that Dante can take them to the base this week and get rid of them. Um, because they actually have a recycling, like a um, recycling thing on base, so he usually just takes them there. So, um, I'm like trucking away here. So, um, I got a couple more boxes. Right now, what I'm doing is all of Dante's movies, I am putting them on the bottom shelf um, under his record player. I'm putting all the movies there, and then all of his games probably will go there as well, But because it's such a big area. So, he doesn't watch the movies often. I guess they're like collector items. I don't know, but... Yeah. So, um... I'll be back in just a bit. I'm just going to keep chucking along and then I'll let you guys see my progress. So. pretty good stopping point for tonight I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a, a view of the room it's dark it's dark so maybe I'll do it in the morning so I'll show you what the room looks like currently in the morning when the Sun is up because it's dark in here now so I'll show you what it looks like in the morning so until then good night Good morning. So today is the day after the whole room makeover and um, 
I'm going to show you what it looks like in the daytime um, real quick and then I will come back and talk to you guys about the next steps. So hold please while we go to the room. Okay, so um, as far as the refrigerator goes, the wine fridge, um, it's they did reply and uh, about the damage to it, and um, she escalated it up. They replied right away. Great customer service. Like I said yesterday, it's not a big deal to me because it's on the back and you can't see it. But I just want them to know that you know during the shipping process, it did get a little ding on it, and you know so that they know. And then as far as um, the fridge, it, it's supposed to hold 33 bottles of wine, but as you know, we didn't put wine in it. We just put beverages, other beverages, which is just as fine, and it held a lot of beverage, a lot, a lot. <laughs> um, so also, um, after I slept on it a bit, I realized that I am going to put another coat of paint on the walls. Um, I'm going to use my paint sprayer that I never use, um, but I'm going to use it until so I can get a really nice, because it's black, I don't know, to me Dante is like, you know, it gives it a little bit of character, but um, then just being like, just completely just solid black, but I'm going to let it sit for a, a couple, maybe a week or so and just kind of see how it comes together. But um, I'm not sure. I may end up putting another coat of paint on it because that's just me. But um, so, yeah. So we're, we're in the process of ordering chairs for the room and then we will finish decorating and putting um, his memorabilia and his like Eagles things or whatever on the wall once. Um, the chairs come and we know exactly how we want everything to sit because I don't want to put stuff on the walls until I know for a fact how the chairs, once we pick chairs or pick seating, then we'll know exactly how to rearrange everything at that point. Um, but this is a great start to it um, so that he could at least sit in there and watch a game or so and I don't have to watch it um, in the bedroom. So... Uh, we're also going to be ordering a bigger TV for the room. The TV, that's why I did not do anything with the TV because that TV will move to Kai's room and we'll be getting a bigger TV for his man space as well. But for the most part, I'm loving the way that it's coming out. I did order curtains from Amazon. They'll be here on Friday. And of course, they are black as well. And they're blackout curtains because if we want to watch movies in there, it's a great space for that because it'll be nice and dark. Um... So yeah, uh, you can't really see it, but I am wearing a Hold Please sweatshirt and they are available on my website if you all are interested. Um, if they, I only have it listed in three colors on there, which is white, black, and gray. But if you want a different color, um, just message me and we can work that out. So for now, I'm going to end this vlog. Because I have a massage to go and get as well as get these nails done. So today is a self-care day. And I will see you guys next vlog. Bye.